Hi everyone, Nubkex here, welcome back to Nub Raids, and in today's video I want to cover every single team that I actually use in the arena, both in my classic arena stuff and in 3v3. 3v3 obviously being significantly harder, so yeah, we, we'll, we'll come to that second. I want to show you the classic arena stuff first. Uh, so I'm in goal 5 obviously in classic arena, and this is the team I use. Uh, most of the time to just speed clear through things very very quickly. So here we go. Arbiter boosts us. Romantu comes in. He buff strips the enemy and he blocks their CDs. This is a little unfortunate. Didn't quite work out. That's okay. Gaius is supposed to bomb them and stun them. It didn't actually happen right there. But Foley comes in, kills them. Foley blocks revive with his AoE and then we're off. So one of their uh, masteries must have triggered there for Seeker to actually get a turn. He's not supposed to. Gaius is supposed to go right after Romantu, but we still cleared through it reasonably quickly. It wasn't too bad. And that is the team that I use most of the time. I actually, for Classic Arena, I'm super lazy and I don't even bother fighting Tormen or Hegemon teams most of the time because I'm too lazy to switch up my team. I just want to go through and smash through with this team because it's just fast, just speed farming. And the nice thing about Romantu is that he obviously makes it, he makes it just super safe. He makes it super safe by locking out passives. It means that you can just kill skull crowns that can normally block, uh, uh, normally get unkillable or Leorius who can get unkillable. You can just wipe through those super fast. Uh, you can block Duchess's passive, which makes your AOE nuke kill them. Foley with a block revive just speeds up those fights as well. And we're typically looking at sub 10 minutes, 10, 10 minutes, sub 10 second fights for this sort of thing. So here we go against this one. Again, we should see if it works. Do we have enough accuracy? I'm not sure, but I think we should. So we'll come in here. Yeah, we've got enough accuracy. There we go. We block all of their passives. Great. Then we come in. Gaius puts bombs on them. And uh, yeah, so here we go. He's going to take a turn. But that's fine because he's going to die now to the bombs. And there we go. 13 second run. And we're done. So that's the main team that I use. That is the main team that I use for most of these fights, right? This is my general speed team. Arbiter 336. She's kind of slow. She's kind of slow. So I have to be a little bit careful sometimes in terms of the opponents that we pick. Gaius at 255. Romantu goes first at 263. And then we have a really slow Foley that hits reasonably hard. So that's what I'm using. I'm actually thinking of potentially switching in uh, Candrophon, perhaps, in Foley's position, you know, just to deal with some of these magic nuking teams and stuff. But I don't think it's that important. This team clears through nice and quick. Now, the other teams that I use uh, for Classic, this Classic Accuracy, I've just put this one together. I haven't actually used this yet. With the idea with this team, it's very similar, but we put in Yoshi, and Yoshi gives us increased accuracy, right? He gives us increased accuracy, and he can true fear the enemy team, which is nice as well. But the real purpose of this is that Romantu and Gaius both have about 600 or so accuracy. With increased accuracy, they're both going to jump up to close to 1,000 accuracy. So no one's going to resist them. It just makes the, the, the buff strip and the block passives, and it makes the bombs basically guaranteed. So it's a pretty easy win, even against those high resistance teams. But it's, it's just such a hassle to switch teams for classic. I'm way too lazy, so I, don't, I usually don't bother using this. This is a team I use quite a bit as well. This actually might not quite, it doesn't usually work against Foley because of his passive, but I'll show it to you anyway. It might go wrong here if we're against Foley. But if I think that their team might be faster, and I was worried that their team right here would be faster, I'll put in Tormin instead of the Foley. So Tormin has a really good chance to freeze the enemy whenever they get a buff or take a turn or whatever so that works really well in our favors here we go they're going to kill us but Gaius bombs are going to blow them up and then we take him down so this team works really well too when we're going to be outsped because Tormund will come in and freeze them especially teams like this with double speed boosters my arbiter is kind of slow so this is what I use Foley's passive breaks him free from freeze and turn meter boosts so that can be pretty bad like he would kill Gaius Gaius is very squishy if you had a stone skin Gaius wouldn't be a problem so that's one I use in terms of let's go to this team because this is exactly the sort of thing I target um for quests quest battles I've got three different teams set up for quests and the purpose of these the way I've set them up is they're all variants on my arbiter team and I'm going to use these in Tag Arena as well, because sometimes you get these quests for Tag Arena. So basically, I cannot use any champions, cannot use any champions that I use for uh, for other t teams for Tag Arena. They've got to be completely unique champions. So this team, for example, this is High Elves. High Elves, so Arbiter, obviously increased attack, gives us the aura. Um, turn meter boost, Apothecary level 50, five star, gives us another turn meter boost. And then I've got two nukers to nuke. Not a great team. They can definitely be super interrupted. 
um, and and miss their turns. Another one I have next up, we've got the one affinity team. This one is significantly better because we can use void champions. So with this team, Arbiter boosts us up, Romantu strips them and removes their buffs. We get an AoE provoke from Krisk and then we have uh, Ethos who nukes them and then we finish them off if needs be. So that team is, is significantly better. It's actually quite good. Uh, this one is somewhat scary actually. Um, I mean, we can give it a go. It wouldn't quite work against the Foley, ah, but it's fine. Let's see Let's see if it works or not. Probably not. Let's give it a go. So this team, this is my four different affinities team. I'd be a bit nervous about targeting this team, but that's okay. Yeah, they're, you see, this team is actually faster than me, so we're going to lose this one. That's okay, but with this team, I'll show it against the next squad as well. In fact, we, we're going to lose this. We can just leave. That's okay. I, I would normally target something easier. So this one, he, again, he could outspeed us. Let's give it a go. Theory with this team is that we've got the double speed boost. Ah, oh, shucks, this guy's faster as well. Rip. Usually, I don't use these teams to target real teams because of this exact reason. Um, we'll see. We'll see it. We'll see it here. We'll see. It. So Arbiter will boost. We get another boost here with a single target attack from her. Then we get the AOE provoke from uh, from Bivolt, and then Robar nukes. So we've got every single affinity. So we've got double double booster, double speed booster effectively. Bivolt, A, we provoke, and then Robar does a big nuke. And his nuke hits extremely hard when enemies um, uh, ha are under hard CC. So it works pretty well. Uh, one thing to note, Bivolt and Robar aren't booked. So, but you know, I don't use that team all that often. And yeah, you can see against uh, faster teams, they really fall apart. Like we're really not built to handle those faster teams with this exact squad. Uh, I'm actually going to jump into, or we'll show it to you here. I could show it to you here. So in terms of, um, ooh, do we have some good examples? Yeah, perfect. Okay, this is a perfect example. So in terms of the teams I use then for 3v3, and I'll show you how I use them in 3v3, this is one of my favorite teams. This is the cheese team. So you can see, you'll, you'll get a, a quick idea for how this one works. So with this team, it's expected the enemy goes faster. Tormund freezes a lot of them. Yoshi gives us increased accuracy. Then we're going to get the strip from Kaimar, except he got interrupted. That's okay. We don't get a strip, but Lord Chazar comes in. He's in stone skin, so he definitely gets a turn. And he uh, he bombs them all and blows them all up. So this is a really cheeky go second team, which is specifically built to counter speed teams like this, right? Because with the Torment, it really messes them up. Increased accuracy from Yoshi allows the strip, the bombs, the freezes to land very frequently. And uh, yeah, this is a great team. It's one of my favorite teams. It's fast as well. You're either going to win really quickly or you're going to lose really quickly. So it makes it a really good 3v3 team uh, for me. Uh, next up, let's try Let's do this one. Oh, man, arena tokens. Oh, it feels bad. Oh, man, that feels bad. Okay, I do want to show you this one. This is another team that's one of my favorites. I've got two variants of this that I use quite a lot. Two variants, the tanky and then tanky number two. They both start with more to macabre. They both start with Mortu, who's built with really high crit damage, and he is coming in to do big single target block revive. Brogni is in to give us shields, Mithrala is in to cleanse us, and then Sandlash, Survivor, is in to keep us alive with her passive. So let's see how it works against this. This is not a, a high damage team, so I probably should have used the second variant against this one, but ah well, too late now. So they're going to do this stuff to us, we're going to cleanse, then the block debuffs goes on. So it's, this one is definitely, as you can see, a much, much slower team. Um, but once the block debuffs goes on, we're okay. We extend the buffs with Sandlash Survivor. So so long as their team doesn't have like a buff stripper that can remove the buffs from my team, we should be totally fine. And we will get through this one eventually. So this is not a quick team, but uh, this is a team that I use in Tag Arena quite a lot. And it's actually my most successful overall Tag Arena defense team, believe it or not. People have a really tough time dealing with this one. It's actually quite hard. It's actually quite hard to blow this team up at the start because we do have the shields from Brogni. We've got reasonably high resistance. Mithrala is quite fast. And if Mithrala cuts in, she obviously cleanses all the debuffs and um, uh, puts strength in and a big shield on everyone. And Mithrala's shield synergizes with Brogni. And it's tricky as well to kill people through the Sandlash Survivor passive. Um, you could potentially take the team down with Romantu. But again, the issue you sort of face is, unless you've got that quicker speed tune team, that, um, yeah, Mithral is just going to cleanse the debuff that Romantu places. Uh, unless he's got crazy high accuracy, he can debuff her. So that's one of my favorite teams. Let's jump into Tag, and let me show you how we would actually do this stuff. So again, in Tag Arena, I'm usually going to target uh, something like this. Someone that's got, uh, they're like a lot of points going. 
Um, I, I, I can't win. I cannot win every fight. It's just not possible for me to win every fight. Actually, this looks like perfect. I'm looking at this. I'm going these 10 points and I can see exactly. I'm used to my teams. And I know I can win this. I know I can win this well. So this first team, they've got lots of turn meter, lots of speed boosting. We're sending in the cheese. We're sending in the cheese. It doesn't always work because Tormen, my Tormen is lacking in accuracy. I need to re-gear him at some point. He's got really low accuracy. So they can very easily resist it, which can be bad. Um... He's okay when he gets the increased accuracy, but before that, he's really low. But it's okay. And there's obviously the chance that the, you know, Tormund gets resisted or the fears from Yoshi don't work. There's always that random chance. This second team right here, very tanky team, uh, lots of reviving. So what we're going to do against this one, we are going to send in, I actually think we're going to send in tanky too. So with this one, I'm not as scared at all about them nuking me early. In fact, I've got a speed aura and they don't, so they're not super fast. So with this one, I'm going to take out Sandlashed. So I don't need her to protect me from that initial round one nuke with her passive. I'm going to bring in Demitha instead, who's going to give us tons of healing, keep us alive, and who is going to um, yeah, heal us as well. I will say, if I had Duchess, Duchess would be way better than Brogni here, but I don't have a Duchess, so we're using Brogni, um, who does very similar stuff. And then I'm going to send my speed team against these guys in the back. Um, they've got quite a lot of resistance, but I'm not really worried. Um, in fact, what I could even do, I could even send in, I've got like an accuracy sort of version of this team, but it's okay. I think I'm just, my speed team's going to work just fine against them. So here we go. Let's go in. And this is exactly the sort of thing I'm going to do. Picking and choosing fights. We're in goal two right now in Tag Arena. So we can see here, look at that. The freeze is going out, Tormen locking them down. We boost our accuracy. We remove their buffs. The bombs go out. Arbiter may survive this one, which is kind of a bummer. She's got... Nah, she should die. There we go. So she dies to the bombs. You can see... You'll really see that Shazar's bombs are way weaker than Gaius. Gaius's bombs are so, so much stronger. So sometimes that team lacks a bit of damage. But because Kaimar resets us, it gives us another chance. Now, this team is the slow team. This is going to be a slowly wear them down team. Uh, and this one... Sometimes it goes quickly, sometimes it's really slow, and sometimes you just lose. The reason being that Mortu Macab, how does he work? Well, his passive. Uh, I could even actually stick Kandrophon into this sort of team. It would probably work as well, actually, now I look at it. I could put in like a Kandrophon and Rector Drath or something like that. Could actually work super well. Um, but Mortu, his passive, massive single target damage that blocks your. I've got like allergies and my eye is really bad today. Really annoying. Sorry, guys. I need to stop rubbing it. It's going to get worse. Yeah, more two. He can block revive, and whenever he gets hit, you know it's a, it's the chance to trigger. I think it's a twenty percent chance whenever he's hit to activate his secret skill. So sometimes it just doesn't work. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't work, and you can sit here for like a ten minute fight, and you're up against like a Withier or something. He's so good against Withier, Withier who's pumping out AOE attacks all the time, and you're just getting smacked and smacked and smacked. And you're like, I've been smacked about 30 times in a row. And Mortu's like, yo, I'm just not proccing the passive. But when he does proc the passive, it's good. So you can see, like, this one is what's really slowing me down. The reason I don't have another speed team is I just don't have the champions for it. Like, I don't have uh, th those top tier champions to really make it work. Uh, so it's getting somewhat, you know, sometimes this can get a bit worrying when we just don't proc Mortu. And their team is somewhat lacking in AoE. Like, Vogot's going to do it every now and then. Same thing with Sandlashed every now and then. We're in somewhat danger here of, of uh, Brogni actually dying. Brogni didn't quite die. We're going to be fine, probably. Yeah, he should live. And now Demitha is going to give him block damage and tons of healing. So we're going to be safe. But there is that gap where Brogni can die. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, you know, I'm probably just going to pause this one. You guys get the idea. This team just doesn't really die. It takes forever for them to die. Maybe Mortu's going to finally do his move here. We're full healed up again. Not Mortu. Just... Just hasn't procced it, guy. He just hasn't. So we just got. We just got to keep going. <laughs> we just got to keep going until it works. That's really all there is to it. That's really. You know what? Let's let's just target her and try to kill her off so she stops reviving. But uh, yeah, this is a very successful defensive team. Though I do use Sandlashed in the defensive slot instead. Sandlashed, I also have built to do damage, which makes it a faster run with Sandlashed. Um, but this is like a safer version against a low damage output team like they have. It just takes forever. I'm going to pause it and we'll come back when we beat this. Because Mortu just doesn't want to do his thing. Okay, we're coming to the end of the fight. He literally didn't proc Peril one time. We literally had to just brute force them down. And here we go against the final set here. We come in. We do the things. 
and uh, bam, they're dead. Cool, faster, <laughs> quite a bit faster, right? Quite a bit faster, but there we go. I'm super low in gold because uh, I just farm back up like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I actually didn't on Friday this week, but like Saturday, Sunday, because I actually have a ton of free time this weekend. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm able to come in and do this. Let's refresh. We might get, there we go. We get some nice one man defenses. And this is exactly the sort of thing that I'm just going to do like the whole way through. So here we go. We can see sort of similar stuff right here. I mean, let's give this one a go, shall we? So we can see it against a different team. I'm not as confident against this team. This team is, is better set up. So right here, I think we could try the... The sort of speed nuki thing against these guys i think it could work in fact i actually have a second version set up and i think it will be better they don't have a reviver so we don't need the block revive from foley and that candorphon plus one is pretty scary we'll bring in a magnar for a spirit affinity to hopefully somewhat deal with him riho's kind of a pain in the butt she's gonna throw back uh romantu's stuff and if she cuts in then and cleanses and gives them block block uh, debuffs before uh gaius debuffs them it's gonna be pain in the butt but i think definitely the speed team is the way to deal with this one this team so i think we send in the cheese boys this could be pretty bad in the sense that shazar bombs and my shazar is in stone skin and he's my only damage i've got no revive so if he kills us we're, we're we're screwed but i think cheese is the way to go and then for this final team um they they're quite squishy so i'm just going to send in the faster tanky boys i think it's going to work really well but yeah, these are the teams I use, and it's been what's working for me at the moment. I, I constantly, though, whenever I get new champs and it opens up new strategies, it can really change things. Like, it can really change things. Here we go. Okay, good. So, Riho didn't get, didn't do anything. So, we're totally fine. Here we go. He's got stuff on him, and Gaius kills him through the unkillable swift parry. God, Gaius is so good, guys. He's so good. There we go. Increase accuracy. Strip their buffs. We place the bombs. Boom, boom, uh, boom, and boom. Great, nice, quick, clear. And then this team is the slower one. So this is, here we go, perfect. Mithrala actually got woken up and cut in. I should really build my Mithrala. I really should in like an immunity set to deal with, um, basically to deal with those sets, right? To deal with those sets. You can see this team's actually maybe going to kill more too. Uh, but they're also super squishy. So we're probably going to kill them. So it's fine. Uh, I'm going to leave it full auto because we just want to see how it works full auto. But you can see Sandlash Survivor does quite good damage. Um, so yeah, it's it's so much faster when they've got a squisher team like this without a Reviver where we don't need to keep everyone alive. That was really quick. 1 minute 18 seconds. That was great. And we get 13 points for victory. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, like I said, constantly reevaluating the teams. It's certainly tricky, especially defensively in, in Arena to make stuff that's scary without a Duchess. And like without Sifi and Rotos, like I'm missing a lot of top tier legendaries, but I definitely feel like my account has improved a lot in the past little while. Like getting Gaius, getting Romantu, getting Mithrala, these are all recent pulls for me, very, very recent. And they've made a huge difference. Or you guys who've been watching the channel remember when I pulled my Kaimar. Kaimar made a huge difference for me. Uh, so it's enabled me to build some of these teams that work well. But yeah, like I said, maybe I should put Mithrala into an immunity set to deal with uh, uh, basically artifacts that can CC her, like stun sets and provoke sets, that can CC her even when um, she uh, has way more resistance than they have, right? Because uh, uh, item sets, ig ignore that. So this is my current defense, excuse me. This is my current defense. The problem with this stuff is that these teams work really well on offense, but because you can pick and target, pick and choose who you're attacking, they're much, much weaker on, on defense. They're significantly weaker. So this one, this team is actually quite successful, believe it or not. I'm not sure. We might have been attacked sometimes. Okay, there we go. We've been attacked a few times here. So you can see how it's working. This guy just smashed me. That's fine. This guy pretty much smashed me, but team three won. So team three is the cheesy team. Uh, you can see my Arbiter team's not doing too well. Team 1 actually winning quite a bit. And uh, yeah, Team 2 won there. So it's kind of a mix. It's kind of a mix. We're not getting attacked that often, though, which is kind of good. It sort of depends. I think there's a lot of room to improve these defenses, to be honest. But this this one actually works quite well. People don't really expect it, I think. They don't really expect it. Um, but it's set up very simply. And uh, yeah, like if you don't kill this team straight off the bat... It can really kind of mess up your mess up your day, really. If Mortu procs his peril, if he procs peril early, it's gonna one shot pretty much anybody. If Mithrala gets hex on you and you start getting petrified, it works pretty well. And the idea is, well, I'm using three different speed auras, so the idea is that you kind of want 
you know it's it's kind of it should be difficult to counter the team in in terms of how fast are my teams i mean this one's obviously the fastest but it should be a little bit open for debate like how fast is this team like how fast is this kaimar or the yoshi eh, i don't know i don't know it's better to <laughs> if i had different champions i build it differently but yeah this one quite successful works well duchess would be much better than brogni but i don't have a duchess um there you go like i mean duchess with or something like that and you'd be It'd be pretty good, you know, or or Sifi or something in there would be really good as well. Um, yeah, anyway, the second team, this one's a bit dodgy. I'm going to be putting Kandrafon in here instead of, uh, instead of Magnar. Uh, I, I'm just trying out Magnar right now to see how it works with him in there. I usually put Foley into this slot, and the idea is that Foley, because of his passive shrugging off crowd control, getting turn meter, that he can maybe scare some people away that might try to bring in, like, a, you know, Tormen or... or, or or Kaimar against this team. They might try to outspeed us. If they CC us, if they sleep us with Kaimar, Foley would break free and potentially nuke them and kind of ruin their day. So that's sort of the purpose of him. I'm trying Magnar in there right now, this week. Uh, I've never tried him before in this comp, and we'll see if it works. Um, this comp would definitely be a lot better with something like a Necret in there, but I don't have Necret, you know? Uh, but there you go. It's it's Arbiter with Romantu. This is pretty obvious. Like, we go first, and then we nuke you. It's pretty obvious what this team is trying to do. So any like high resistance team that can can stop this or a team with a really good cleanser that can just cleanse these debuffs, uh, resist and then cleanse the debuffs. There's a lot of stuff that you can do against this. Uh, but I'm just hoping that, you know, people don't know that my Arbiter is slow. So they might be scared away. And I think Romantium guys are pretty scary on their own. So I don't know. Again, this one is only so so successful defensively it's not great and then finally this team the cheese team again it's so easy to counter because it's so obvious what it wants to do but it actually again works surprisingly well i think people maybe sometimes underestimate it or something um but yeah this works kind of surprisingly well uh for what it does but yeah you send in something like a reho like someone that that cleanses and places block debuffs and this team is really screwed uh but yeah, so I don't know. There you go. There my defense is right now. I think that defensively it's pretty dodgy and we're sort of making up for it with the offense working reasonably well. Um, and then obviously getting, you know, some of these top tier champions would really help. Like getting uh, Lady Kimmy, getting uh, a Mountain King would be great. Duchess would be great. I've got Candorphon now, which is huge. That's going to completely change things up. Um, yeah, Rotos, Sifi Rotos would be a great combo. You can see the other defenses that people are putting in in gold too, the real ones here. Necret would obviously be insane. Um, this is reasonably low down in gold too, but uh, we're going to climb up. But you can see the sort of the other stuff that people are putting together uh, and how it, how it works and what they are doing. So pretty intriguing stuff uh, all across the board. There you are, guys. Let me know what you think. Hopefully, it was a bit of a fun overview, seeing the teams I use and the different ideas. There were maybe a couple of others that I don't use that often. So I do have a cleanse team. This is with uh, with Sky Touch Shaman, who's going to cut in. This is against Tormund teams. The Arbiter will come in speed boost, and then uh, Sam, uh, Sky Touch will cleanse us and heal us up. And then Romantu and Gaius going after her can take their turns uninterrupted by Tormund. It's a little bit dodgy because Arbiter doesn't have um, immunity on. So she can actually get frozen and not do the turn meter boost and then it falls apart, but it's okay. And then I do have a high accuracy team, which is basically just swapping the aura of the speed team. So if we're going up against someone with, uh, there was someone here, like this team right here, check this out. So we've got a Duchess, we've got a Cardial and we have a Lydia. Now Lydia gives you 100 resistance with her aura. So I know this is a very resisty team. So for example, putting my, my speed team against this, I can put Romantu in the lead for the bonus accuracy, and I'm really not worried uh, about being outsped. They've got no speed boosters, so Arbiter in the back line can speed boost us just fine. We're definitely going to go first. Don't need the speed aura. We can take Romantu's aura and, and pretty much hopefully land the debuffs anyway and get away with it. Because, I mean, if we don't debuff Cardial, he's going to cleanse, then we're going to die. Uh, so that sort of thing. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all the rest, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.